In the last activity, students learned that devices that help people perform tasks that are difficult due to a disability are called assistive technology. These devices may be a wheelchair, eyeglasses, a hearing aid, or a prosthetic. In this activity, students will explore ways in which liquids and gases may be used to transfer motion. These are called hydraulics and pneumatics. In the next activity, they'll use that information to make a prosthetic arm move. Each student will need to use two 10 milliliter oral syringes and about one to two feet of quarter inch clear plastic tubing. The class might also need to use scissors, a source of water such as a drinking fountain, sink, or even a pitch of water and some towels just in case. Cut the tubing into 1.5 foot lengths to use for the activity. Also, you might want to use two longer lengths of tubing that are at least eight feet long and to make two systems out of those. Fill one with water and one with air in it. Show the students how to put the syringes together like this. Have one syringe with the plunger out and put in one end of the tubing and have the other syringe with the plunger in and the other ends. When you press one end of the syringe, the other syringe plunger pops out. We're now going to demonstrate how you should have your students fill up their water-filled hydraulic systems. You can do this fairly quickly and have students line up and just bring their plungers up. Each student comes on up and you should say, please take both plungers off, hand me one of them. Take the other one, hold it right here over the water fountain. The other one I'm going to fill and water is going to flow through the whole system. Once we begin filling the other one up, you can hold them side by side and they'll be level. Go ahead and put your plunger on. Water will flow out of this plunger. Now push the other plunger down for them and notice this will come up. It's important that the first plunger is pushed all the way down. And also notice that if I push this all the way down, this plunger will pop off. So you want to warn the students not to push it all the way down. Ask the students to tell you what differences they notice between the two systems. The air fill system and the water fill system. Your students may notice that the air fill system does not work as fast or as well as the water fill one. Ask them what it means for the system to not work as well and why they think it doesn't work as well as or as fast. The answer is because air is a gas and is compressible, meaning some of the pushing from the syringe will actually go to compressing the gas and therefore not to transferring motion. The water, on the other hand, transfers motion much better because liquids are not compressible. You can tell the class that the air flow system is called a pneumatic system and the water flow system is called a hydraulic system. Show the class the longer tube that you made and ask them to predict what will happen. Show them the air-filled syringe. And then show them the water-filled syringe. If they learned correctly from the last activity, they will predict that the water-filled syringe will work just as well as before, whereas the air-filled syringe will work much slower, if at all. That is all for activity two. At the end of this activity, students should be able to explain that a pneumatic system uses air which is compressible, and a hydraulic system uses a fluid which is incompressible to transfer motion. They'll use this information in the next activity.